What is up, my fellow Cheebits? Hopefully all of you are having a very, very good day today. No matter where you live, no matter what time of day it is, no matter how many weeks, days, or years ahead you watch this video, I still wish you many great days ahead. And so with that being said, today I'm here to talk about a topic on Boku no Hero Academia. So before I begin, just a brief FYI, this video contains spoilers for the manga. So, if you're an anime only, which, as I always say when I make topic videos on Boku no Hero, I just want to warn you, if you're an anime only, and you don't want to be spoiled, please exit out of the video and leave, because I don't want to be the person to spoil you for anything that could possibly happen for the future of the series. So, with that being said, let's talk about Togata. This is a topic I've been wanting to make for a while now, since finding out what happened to him after he lost everything. So, the main point of this video is to discuss what is his possible options, what will he do, and how will he continue to have, you know, relevance in the story of Boku no Hero Academia. That is the question I have, and what this video is about. So, just to get everybody up to speed, to remind everyone, just in case you watch this for a very long time in the future, basically, in the chapters that just came out, Togata, he got hit by a bullet that removes his quirk completely. It will never come back. Now, at this time, from the information we have from the manga, it's impossible for him to gain his quirk back. Now, this could easily change if there's someone far off into the future that somehow can counter, you know, Arity's abilities and then bring his quirk back, or Arity is able to master her abilities and able to bring his quirk back. We don't know. But at this time, there is no clarification if he will ever get his quirk back. So let's go under the assumption that he will never have his quirk ever again okay let's just go with this video and say what would happen if he never got it back so Togata as we know for a long time since he was very young he has been working very hard to get where he is at right now in the series to become a hero to have his own hero name to be able to save someone he has worked very hard and the beginning his origin story what started it all was one time he fell in and a hero saved him and ever since then, he was inspiring to be a hero. He wanted to be a hero because he thought a hero was cool to save him because he, he was in danger. A hero came in to act all cool and got him out of the water. He was very happy, and that made it to where he wanted to be something like that. And it's revealed that his father wanted to be a hero, but he never became a hero because the way that his quirk works and then, you know, Tokata's quirk works, it just it's very hard to try to learn how to be a hero with a quirk that works like it does. And so he gave up on that dream. But Togata decided to continue that dream and wanted to be a hero. Despite all of the flaws and issues with his quirk and the problems he would face, he wanted to become a hero. Now this was at a very young age, very, very young age, and he finally got a dream. He got a shining light, he had this pillar, and he was trying to climb up on top of the pillar to reach that dream he wanted, which was to be a hero. So, throughout his life, at a young age, he tried to learn his quirk and be better with it. His quirk was really hard to manage. You had to be very precise with what you do with your quirk or his quirk to be able to make his body phase through anything. But also, he had to overcome the ability of losing all of his senses, not being able to see, you know, any light, not being able to hear, not being able to, you know, eat anything or whatever, just every single phase, and he could fall through the ground and all that, and he would just have a sense of nothingness. It'd just be very scary. So, he had to overcome a lot you know, psychological issues and physical issues. He had to get stronger and bulk up, but he also had to overcome his mental issues, which was being able to use this quirk and being able to continue to press forward and not give up. you got to imagine the strain it must have put on an individual at his age trying to become a hero. He definitely tried very hard to be where he was at before he lost his quirk. He put everything, so much time, hundreds upon hundreds of hours, even thousands of hours, into trying to be better with his quirk and be a hero. And after all the time, after many, 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 many years, over a decade, he managed to be recognized. He managed to finally be able to be a master of his quirk and was able to be part of the big three. He was a part of the big three. And he achieved that thanks to all of his hard work, his effort to be there. And then now, in the latest chapters, he has lost that. All of this hard work to master his quirk and to be a hero, 
was lost within a second. Bullet came in, shot him, Quark is gone. So all of that work he did throughout his childhood, up to the very point in the latest chapters, was lost. For instance, everything he did to try to achieve to master this Quark, all those many tons and tons of hours he tried to learn how to precisely phase like his fingers or whatever through walls or his legs through walls, all of that was lost. All of that training, all that is gone because he no longer has that. So all of that time he spent, it was wasted. Now, this could automatically destroy any individual, no matter what. If you put as much time that Togata did into what he wanted, it would usually destroy a person. It would. And you cannot even deny that. It would destroy an average person. Just shatter them. Because everything that they wanted or what they tried to get was just lost. All, all those years, gone within a second. One mistake, one problem, gone. Now, the reason how he lost it, besides just the bullet coming in, he was protecting a girl, Ari. And because he's a hero, obviously he doesn't want an innocent to get hurt, which makes a lot of sense. But at the same time, this shows once again another problem with this series. Or not with the series' as writing, but a problem with the character, a character flaw. Stain, as we know, his ideology, he believed that heroes should be able to sacrifice anything. They should be willing to sacrifice anything to save someone, even if it means at the cost of their own life. And in some ways, many people throughout the years, in all so uh, sorts of culture, not just Boku no Hero, but, you know, reading comics and stuff, many viewed heroes as people that would sacrifice their own self for the greater good. But then... And over time, if you really think about the situation, it's not healthy. It's dangerous. Why, why are you saving people if you can't even save yourself? When you put your own self in danger, it's like you're saying you don't care about yourself. You don't care about your life. You think your life is insignificant compared to others, and you don't care about it, which shows a character flaw, that they're willing to throw their own life away for someone else, which is noble. It's a noble thing. But it's flawed, because it's crazy, and that is what Togata did. He followed this madness that has popped up throughout the series. Izuku has it, All Might has it, and many other heroes, most likely for this manga, probably has that characteristic. And this is what Stain thought was a true hero. But in this case, it's actually working against our heroes. Izuku has ruined his hand beyond repair. If he continues to use his hand and not learn how to control his quirk, he would lose his hand completely, his arm, and he has learned the hard way. This is because of his madness of not caring about his own self. All Might, his condition for not caring about himself, he can't even be a hero anymore. Now, Togata is in that same spot. He no longer can do really much of anything now since he has lost everything like that because of the madness. So, it's a noble act. It's righteous for what he did, but at the same time, it's messed up. It's flawed. So, getting off of that, after all of this has happened, Togata, he breaks down. And Night Eye realizes that Togata has lost. He has lost everything. And even though he lost everything, before anyone arrived to help him out, he was standing up and fighting against Overhaul, which shows that he had a great spirit. He was not someone to just give up like that, which makes a lot of sense. For him to press forward as much as he did for all of those years, he definitely had to build up a lot of, like, I guess, pride and strength within him. Not just, you know, physically, but mentally. He was able to build this up, and I feel like that was the only reason why he was able to overcome such a traumatic event like losing his quirk and why he was able to stand there and fight for so long without any help. It's because of how he has trained his mind throughout so many years. But now that he is unconscious and the arc is soon to be done, we need to talk about what his future has in store for him. Many have theorized that it's a possibility that Togata could become a police officer. He might become someone that can be a hero without actually doing hero work like using his quirk. He can just do stuff alongside the law. He could be something equivalent to how All Might has the investigator that looks after him and he, you know, communicates with a lot. Many have said that maybe Togata could be that to Izuku. He can be like an investigator, a police investigator, that talks to him and keeps him in the wraps of what's going on throughout the world. That could possibly be the relationship between Togata and Izuku. Now, there's another thing that someone brought up. 
besides that, Togata could still continue to press forward and be a hero even without a quirk. We do know that there is a possibility of people being heroes without quirks. Yes, even being a part of, you know, the heroes and all that. Actually being a hero and going out there and fighting crime, we know for a fact you don't necessarily need a quirk. Look at Aizawa. Aizawa is a perfect example, or Knuckle Duster, from the spinoff. Aizawa, he doesn't really use his quirk much. He, when he uses his quirk, he's just deactivating someone's ability to use their quirk. And so then he goes in and he fights hand to hand. So which in turn means it's like two normal people going at each other. So you don't necessarily need a quirk to be able to be a hero. I mean, let's look at a comic legend, Batman. Batman is a perfect example of that. Many have said maybe Togata's future is the possibility of being Batman. Maybe he will have gadgets and other things to be able to be a hero instead of having a quirk. He could be something that shows he's this inspiration for all of those do, that do not have a quirk or not a good quirk that they could still be a hero. That's what, you know, Tokuta's character could represent. And also, it would go with what Izuku went with. For instance, Izuku, he was a boy born without a quirk. He didn't have anything when he was born. And eventually, he got lucky and All Might blessed him with a quirk. And now look at where he's at now. However, if Togata is to become a hero and stay a hero without a quirk, it would show that Izuku clearly had his own flaws about him. He he was putting in a lot of effort, but he clearly... Did he have the, like, determination to go as far as Togata would do? That is the question. So, there's many potential possible, like, futures for Togata. He could become a police officer, like an investigator, similar to how All Might has the investigator talking with him. He could become some form of Batman-like figure in the series, or he could possibly become very depressed and just... I doesn't want to do anything anymore, or he'll become a villain, which I don't think Horikoshi would do with this character. I, I just doubt that Horikoshi would make Togata into a villain at this point. I mean, it's just too far in to make Togata a villain, but who knows. Regardless, though, I, I feel like whatever is in store for Togata is going to be a very interesting ride, and I don't feel like this is the last of his character. It may be the last of him being in the front lines and fighting, but I don't think this is the last of his character being relevant to the series. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. How do you feel about this, you know, video? How do you feel about the topic in the, you know, that I was discussing in this video? I love you all so much. Please be safe. Chibi out.